So we have arrived in Murcia. We are in Spain and we are in Murcia, Spain. We are not going to cover the Murcia province, just the city. And when I say we, her, 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 the little dog and uh, little monkey. So the six of us are going to explore this city for the next three days. And uh, we just checked in and uh, we're on our way to uh, Plaza Circular. Sí. Plaza Circular. So the idea is to make a little travel video, show you the city. It's my first time here, so I'm gonna discover the city with you and uh, also make it an enjoyable uh, family trip. Let's see how that goes. Murcia is a single province region located in southeast Spain, between the region of Andalusia and Valencia. The region of Murcia has a population of over 1 million people, and the city of Murcia is the seventh largest city in the country with about 450,000 inhabitants. In 825 AD, the Moors settled in this former Roman colony and they renamed it Murcia. Moors were Moroccans, member of the Muslim populations of what is now Spain and Portugal, of mixed Arab, Spanish and Berber origin. The Moors created the Arab Andalusian civilization and even though the town was reconquered in 1243 by Alfonso X, the mark that Moors had on Murcia still shows very well in its architecture, which creates a beautiful fusion between more Baroque and classical Spanish ar architecture, which makes Murcia one of the prettiest city I have ever seen. Murcia is a walking city. Most attractions are relatively close to each other, so if you have a car, just leave it at the hotel and take a taxi downtown. Parking in downtown Murcia is a nightmare. Don't even try. So we have arrived at Plaza Circular, Cir Plaza Circular. So I'm uh, trying to improve my Spanish accent a little bit. We are here around the holidays. Uh, it's, actually, it's a matter of fact, it's 27th of December today. So it's not exactly tourist season, but I've heard that this city is absolutely beautiful uh, around this time of year and uh, you might see here if I turn the camera a little bit the Christmas tree here behind me I bet this is amazing after dark we were getting kind of hungry but I and, and we found a restaurant actually I just stepped out to uh, to tell you this because I don't want to get a copyright strike because of the music inside the restaurant. But if you, if you never traveled in Spain, you need to know this um, with food. You need to eat. The restaurants are open. They open um, 12, 1, and uh, then they close at maybe 4, between 4 and 5. And then they reopen at 8, even 8.30 and they are open like until 11, 12, something like depending on the day of the week. But in, in this period from like four, five to eight, it can be quite difficult to find something to eat. We were gonna do because this, this region and this city, Murcia is uh, very known for its tapas and we were gonna do that now, but everything was closed. And the only thing which we found open hamburgers so it is after Christmas already like I mentioned it's 27th of December but the Christmas market is still open and uh, well there seems to be good business here but this this is what I really enjoy if you if you watch some of my travel videos you you will see that I tend to find to look for markets because uh, you can really see the heart of every city by going to the market. But me, not here to shop, just to look at other people, 
eat good food, see cool stuff, and have fun with my family. We were in Mercia between Christmas and New Year's because we heard that Mercia was really festive and nice that time of year. And we were not disappointed. Downtown Mercia was beautifully decorated, small events everywhere, street performers, happy people, great atmosphere. And even at night there was no problem walking around with our four and seven year old girls. There was something to do for everybody. When you pick a city to visit for your vacation, make sure you check if there are any events going on. It adds so much to the experience. Do your homework and look for interesting stuff. There are a lot of interesting events in Spain. It should not be a problem to find one. I will link some of the events happening in Murcia every year in the description. So the first few hours here in Murcia have been, well, amazing. And uh, we have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old and they're getting quite tired now, so now it's best to uh, go back to the hotel and uh, continue tomorrow. on this Murcia adventure and we're gonna start this day at the market. What else? So I'm now at a local food market and uh, this is a really, really cool place. It's, um, well, as you can see, it's food, all kind of food, fish, meat, vegetables, also, so what you find here are locals, not tourists. And uh, this is a really happy place. It's, uh, it's funny, it's funny. You can see like some of the uh, meat cutters, they are singing while they work. And uh, it's a really uh, cool spot. I'm gonna put here on the screen the name of this market. And uh, it's well worth the visit. It's great for just to walk through or, or for photography also, if, you, if that's your uh, game. Hi guys! thing you can do year-round. You have of course some of the many museums in Mercia. I'm not going to recommend any particular museum because what I might find interesting uh, might not be your preference but the one we visited were all great. 
But instead, I'm gonna link in the description uh, to numerous museums. You can choose something that appeals to you from that list. So this would be the Playmobil Expedition. Tad disappointing. I did not know what to expect, but the kids love it. So that's why we're here. So the plan was to go to one of those uh, fancy places, these fancy tapas places that came highly recommended at, uh, from our hotel. Turned out they were all fully booked. We, we needed to make a reservation and uh, so to make a long story short, the kids were hungry, I was getting hangry, wife, is, wife needed beer. So uh, we just jumped in, uh, in the first available place that had a free table. So let's see how, I'd, let's see how that goes. So the verdict, it was really good. The food there was really good. Well, like those restaurants we ate in yesterday, this, this area, this city is known for good food. So even if you miss out some of the, uh, well, the fancy ones, which you need to make a reservation to, you should be fine. Uh, it's, it's all good. I don't think uh, a bad restaurant would thrive here in downtown Murcia. I really don't think so. Uh, the price, well, for us four, it's about 45 euros. It's been about that between 40 and 50 euros for each meal we had since we got here. So I'm not a budget traveler. I'm not a fancy traveler either, so I would guess that uh, about 150 euros. You need 150 euros to eat, to get ice cream, you know, get into museums a day. Uh, there is, however, um, like a tourist car. You can buy a tourist car, which is about, uh, I think it was 12 or 14 euros uh, for adults and four or five euros for kids uh, that gives you um, a free free pass to a lot of the um, the museums and the happenings uh, around here and it also gives you uh, a good discount to some of the areas which is not completely free uh, i will put a link to that in the description if you're interested in that it does save you money uh, I, I, it, it seems to me that a common entrance fee is around 5 euros for uh, adults so you don't need a lot of uh, entrance fees to pay for the, uh, for the card. So since we are in the topic of prices, we also might need to cover hotels. Um, it depends on your preferences of course, you can go, you can find a hotel for you know 20 euros a night but uh, I'm traveling now with my family and like I said, I'm not really a budget traveler. Um, so we opted for a hotel, four star hotel, a family room for four. That is costing us a hundred euros a night with breakfast and parking. It's reasonable. So, uh, so this trip, family trip is costing us about 200, 250 euros a day with everything. So sunset at Santuario de la Fuensanta. I think I'm gonna put the name on the screen. We got a heads up that uh, we would get a great view over the city here for, uh, for some photography. It's a nice view, but there isn't really a photo. But uh, the monastery is amazing. And uh, so we came kind of late. Uh, you know, you're driving in Spain on those narrow roads and uh, single lane roads drives me crazy when you're in a hurry. But we managed to get here a little late. So I just ran and got my drone and that just shot with my drone, you know. You just deal with it, with the tools you have uh, each time. I do recommend 
a drone. It's well, yeah, let, let's say this. It's better to have a drone than not have a drone, especially when you need it. These are wise words at the end of the day. Time to eat and uh, we have made a reservation on a, well, it's a supposed to be an amazing tapas res restaurant called uh, La Pequeña Taberna. Uh, it came highly recommended. We tried to go there for, uh, for lunch, but uh, they were, we, we didn't have a reservation. We didn't expect it to be full. I don't know why, because, you know, it's uh, judging from uh, last night's traffic and today it's, uh, it's, it's the between seasons here seems to be a really busy time so we did make a reservation for tonight so really looking forward to it because like I said it's supposed to be amazing I also find it funny uh, we here on this square there's a lot of restaurants here nice restaurants and uh, it's 8 30 our reservation is at 9 or a little early but there's nobody, nobody here on none of these restaurants. But in half an hour, hour, it's gonna be packed. It's a little funny. It's funny how late compared to, for example, Iceland, where we eat at six, seven. Here it's nine, nine thirty, ten, even eleven. Yeah. It takes some getting used to. I will say that. Especially when you have young kids. So there has been a slight misunderstanding. I'm trying to keep the voice down. I don't want to shout over the whole restaurant. There's been a slight misunderstanding with this place. It's it's not a tapas place. But it's a really fancy place. So what does one do when he can't get tapas? Steak. Every day. In regards of economics, Mercia is one of the main producing region of fruits, vegetables and flowers in Europe. Which explains why it's home to a solid agro-food industry, exporting up to 70% of its production to other EU countries. Wine production is also significant, both in terms of quantity and quality. The region, tourism, leisure and business sector is known for its high standard, offering a variety of services, so anyone should find something to do. Beautiful cultural city with good nightlife, for those who are looking for nightlife, great food, great wine, beautiful beaches, trekking, snorkeling and other kind of outdoor activity makes Mercia interesting for everybody. But the most valuable assets of Mercia is its hospitality. People are warm and helpful, which is a quality you might not always find in some places in Spain, places which are overrun by tourism. Even though there is a thriving tourist industry in Mercia, it's nothing crazy like many of the other tourist spots in Spain. So it's day three, last day. We already checked out of our hotel and uh, now we're gonna do a few things before we head back home. Uh, we were going to see, you know, fishes, fish aquarium, but uh, I don't think this is it. This is really strange. Uh, this is some art installation. This is uh, plastic and. Uh, and fans blowing, like ghosts, I guess ghosts. And uh, beautiful stuff. I, I, will, I will say this, I'm not an art critic. So I'm not, maybe it's not right up my alley to understand this stuff, but we've seen it. Let's find the fishes. So we're now at, uh, well, I'm gonna say it's called the Centro de Cultura, but I'll leave the full name here on the screen. <coughs> it's where the uh, aquarium is. We're gonna go see the fishes and the, uh, the strange uh, art installations. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, art galleries here, paintings, all sort of cultural stuff as the name indicates and we were lucky enough to have like this 
small theme park right on the square and uh, and of course what you would expect in downtown Murcia which is one of the hottest region in Spain people are ice skating so we did find the fishes we found uh, Dora from uh, Nemo and uh, a lot of other amazing creatures. At least the kids love it. Let's check it out. So, all good things must come to an end. Unfortunately, this is the end of our three-day Mercia city trip. It's been a blast. And uh, I included some of the things we did in this video, not all. And uh, by far, this is not the only thing you can do here on your trip but i include a lot of links in the description of places to go you know where you can uh, get the uh, tourist pass some info that you might find useful if you're planning a trip here to Mer mercia which i definitely recommend thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed it bye Thank you.